All right, hey kids, uh, thanks for joining us today. We've got Eric with Move Bros, one of our great partners over at MAB. What we're gonna have today for you is an awesome tasting peanut butter chocolate smoothie. And while we're making this, we're gonna be implementing some great fitness workouts just for you that you can also try at home while making this smoothie. So Eric, why don't you just introduce yourself real fast before we get into it. What's up everybody, Eric here with Move Bros Fitness. Uh, like Justin said, we're gonna be making a smoothie. We're gonna sprinkle in a little bit of exercise in between. Uh, it's just a great way to get yourself a post-workout snack. And we're gonna have a little bit of fun while doing it. Knock out two birds with one stone. Uh, we'll kind of walk through all the ingredients we got here. And then we'll start getting into making the smoothie and then getting a little activity in. Yep. So what we'll have today for this peanut butter chocolate smoothie is one frozen mm -hmm. banana you get some milk. We chose all milk. That's just our preference over here at MAB and Move Bros. You're gonna want to have some old-fashioned oats. These can be any kind of brand, so um, whatever's best that you that you want to choose. Some peanut butter. Uh, natural peanut butter is preferred, just because it's healthier. It's more organic for you. Any kind of cocoa mix that you have on hand, so just make sure you have that. And some awesome chocolate chips to drizzle on top. That's about it. And just a quick note, you know, again, we can use any kind of milk you want. You can use regular milk, you can almond milk, cashew milk, whatever kind of milk that you have on hand. And then any kind of, if you've got any kind of allergy or anything to peanut butter, almond butter, sunflower seed butter works well. Uh, if you want to substitute that out completely, throw in a couple strawberries, get a chocolate strawberry banana smoothie in. You can kind of play around with whatever works for you. We just had some peanut butter on hand, so we chose that. And then the last pieces, we're gonna use some measuring utensils. And we've got our smoothie blender right here, uh, yep. whatever you've got at home to blend it up. And then we also have some cleaning wipes to wipe up any spills, make sure everything's sanitary, uh, make sure it's safe. And just our good old fashioned water for some hydration during the workout. Thank let's you. Let's get to it. Yep, let's get to it, all right. All right, before we get started making the smoothie and doing any kind of activity, we want to make sure that we're properly warmed up. We're ready to go. So Justin and I are just going to go through a light little warm-up right here. Yep. Do something quick, get, you, get your body moving, get the blood flowing, prepare it for, for the activity. So we're going to start with just some arm circles. We're going to take them small forward first. Just nice small circles, keep them going forward. Then we're going to take them nice and big as much motion as you can, really get those shoulders moving, get that blood flowing to your arms. Now we're going to take the circle small backwards. Good, and then we're going to take them nice and big, really open those arms up, swing them around. Make sure you're not close to any kind of table, <laughs> any counter, a friend, you know, hit them in the face. <laughs> Next we're up, we're going to do some jumping jacks. So again, keeping those arms moving. Let's get that heart rate up. We're just jumping. Two, three, four, five. Good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Let everything calm down for a second. We're just going to reach up nice and big towards the sky. You guys remember we did this the other day at the part of the cool down. We're going to do a little bit of a warm up here. Just kind of now the blood's flowing. Loosen everything up. Kind of let it shake it out. Reach each arm back and forth a little bit. Good. Just letting everything hang. Keep it nice and low. Good. And then we're going to reach back up towards the sky. Breathing in nice and deep. Breathe into your into your lungs. Nice big breath. And then breathe out. Nice big breath out. One more breath. And breathe out. And relax. And then last thing, we're just gonna do five quick squats here. So fold the arms in front or reach them straight out. And we're just squatting. We're going one, good. Here we go, two, three, good everybody, two more, 
four. Last one. And five. Good job. Now, now that we're all good and warmed up, we're ready to go. Let's get right into the smoothie. All right, so now that we're ready to, to start making the smoothie, we're ready to get a little exercise in also. Our body's nice and warmed up. We're yep. just gonna go ahead and we're gonna assign one exercise to each ingredient. So we got the chocolate powder, cocoa powder. For that one, we're gonna assign squats. For the peanut butter, we're gonna do some push-ups. For the oats, we're gonna do a plank. It's a 30 second plank. Uh, we went over those yesterday. You can do them straight arm, you can do them on your elbows. For the milk, we're gonna do <coughs> sit-ups. We're gonna do some sit-ups. And then for the banana, we're gonna jacks. do some jumping jacks. And then for the chocolate chips, we're gonna do some lunges. Dang, we got Alter full, alternating lunges. We got a full schedule here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So as we go through, I'm gonna, Justin will be demonstrating a lot of the exercises and I'll kind of walk you through, you know, what, what should be going on, yep. what we're looking at when we're doing them, give you a little bit of education. And then at the end, we'll have a perfectly tasty smoothie ready to rock and roll. Awesome. All right, now we got everything ready to go. Let's start putting the ingredients together, start working out. Yep. Get everything moving. So, we'll so. start with cleaning our hands first. We gotta put the banana in, right? Yep. So we're gonna do, thank you. We're gonna do one set of each exercise per how many times we put something in. So for this banana, we're gonna break it down into, since we're putting in two halves into the thing, we're gonna do two sets of jumping jacks for those bananas, two sets of 10. So we're gonna split it, and Justin's gonna split it in half. I'm gonna put in one. One half. Half of the banana, we got the second half That's in. Half. So now he's gonna do two sets of jumping jacks. Biodegradable. Look at that shot. <laughs> <laughs> so you want Justin, you wanna come step in front of the... Yep. Front of the hands table, off here. wipe the hands down. A little windy out here. All right, so we're gonna do two sets of 10 jumping jacks. So we'll go ahead and do 10. Okay. And with this, all we're doing is we're getting the heart rate up, getting everything moving, getting active, burning a couple calories. Once he finishes that first 10, he's just gonna take a second, he's gonna kind of shake everything out, keep it all moving, rest, he can get, catch the breath a little bit, and then he's gonna do 10 more. Okay. Ready, set, go. One, two. Three, four, five, keep that heart rate up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. And relax. And then remember, when you're at home, you can do as many or as few of these as you want. We're keeping it right in the middle for everybody, but if you want to challenge yourself a little bit, do 15, do 20, do 30, do it for time. There's so many different ways we can go about doing this. So let's move on to the next ingredient. Okay, what we'll do is we're gonna add one cup of almond milk or the milk of your choice. Again, using that hand wipe, we are outside here in our backyard, so make sure our hands are nice and sterile. Give a little shake. It's still pretty cold. I'm excited about that. So we'll measure out one cup. Right. Ooh, that is right there. Look at that. Look at that. Pour that one cup right into the smoothie, whatever kind of, you know, we've got a single serving size blender here, but if you've got a bigger blender at home or whatever, just pour that cup right in. So now we have our full banana and our one cup of almond milk. And since we did the almond milk and the exercise for that is sit-ups, we only put one cup in, so we put in one thing, we're only going to do one set, so Justin's going to do one set of 10 sit-ups here. We got the mat down. If you're indoors, feel free to do it on the carpet. If you're outdoors in the grass, just you know, whatever you're comfortable with. So one set of 10. So I'll get down on our mat here. And then I'll hold down Justin's feet. For his 10. And go. Boom. We're working the abs here. We're gonna keep everything nice and tight. 
crunching up with the abs. Make sure we're breathing on the way, breathe out on the way up. Breathe down on the way down, out on the, in on the way down, there. Good. And again, just like with the jumping jacks, everything else, you can change the number to challenge yourself, or you can scale it down if you need to. You know, five sit-ups is good for you. Five sit-ups, that's it. Cool. So we got one set down. Let's move on to the next ingredient. Okay, let's pull up that handy recipe here. It's always good to have that on hand. As you get older, we tend to forget. So <laughs> it's good to have it on hand, but we have them all in order here. So the next recipe, we next item for the recipe is a quarter cup of our old-fashioned oats here. We chose this brand. You can choose any brand you want. It's just something we like. So I got my quarter cup measuring cup right here. Kind of fill it as best you can. Go ahead and dump those right in. Now that one's done. And since we only put in one, so one quarter cup of those oats, we're only going to do one set of the next exercise. We are going to do a 30 second plank. So, I love these. Like we mentioned earlier, we covered this in the other activity. We can do a straight arm plank, or you can do a dial on your elbows if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more. Uh, we're just sticking with 30 seconds, but also you can challenge yourself. You know, you want to shoot for a minute, shoot for a minute. Okay. We're doing one 30 seconds plank right here. And he's off. So this one again, we're working our abs here also. I'm gonna have him bring his hips up a little bit. Boom. Yeah. We're gonna make sure your back is nice and flat. We're not rounding either up or down. You wanna keep it all in your abs, not into your back. And notice how Justin doesn't have his hands together either. He's got them apart. We don't wanna grab them and clasp the fist. And we want to make sure we're breathing in through our nose, out through our mouth on this. Got about five more seconds. Four, three, two, and go ahead and relax. Perfect job, Justin. Cool. I felt that right in my core. Beautiful. That was good. That was good. All right, so my hands got dirty on that one. I'm going to go ahead and get my next wipe out. If you guys have, you know, hand sanitizer or just if you're doing this next to a sink at home, feel free to wash your, wash your hands in the sink also. So next up on our list is one tablespoon of your choice of cocoa mix. We've got measuring tablespoon here. We've got our choice of cocoa mix. Again, preference is up to you. Just go in, kind of get a nice little scoop there. If you get more, it's always better, but one tablespoon <laughs> goes right in. Now, of course, you want to do this before you dive into the peanut butter because you really don't want peanut butter in your cocoa mix. I've had that happen, but hey, it happens. It makes it more enjoyable. So we'll use this again. All right, and again, we only use one scoop, so we're gonna do one set here of some squats. So we did a little couple squats in the warm-up. We're gonna come back, we're doing some more. We're doing one set of 10 here. So okay. Justin's gonna set up with his feet about shoulder width, hip width apart, so we're not going too wide, we're not going too narrow. He's got a good, solid, about one, one and a half shoe length. Let's step on this, make it level. Yeah, it's level. in between his Ground. feet. Good. And then he's going to keep everything up nice and tall while he's squatting. We don't want to round forward, punch forward. And then he's just going to pretend he's sitting in a chair, basically. So we're doing one set of 10. Whenever he's ready, go ahead and start. Boom, good, perfect. Looking straight ahead, keeps his head up. Good. If any of you guys play sports, uh, anything, you know, basketball, football, hockey, soccer, baseball, whatever sport you play, you always want to keep that head up. You want to be able to see the field, see the court, uh, whatever you know, whatever you're playing the sport on, you want to be able to see it. So keeping that head up during your squats is good practice for that. He's got those 10 squats knocked out. You should feel those working the legs on yep. the squats. Feel it in your ears. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, just be careful, of course. If you can't do 10, do fewer. If you can do more than 10, that's great. Just listen to your body. 
Um, it's probably the number one thing. Yes, absolutely. So yeah. if your knees are hurting on those, uh, get in touch with us. We can figure out some, some alternatives for you to do. Uh, but let's move on to the peanut butter. Second to last ingredient. Yeah, peanut butter. My favorite next to the chocolate chips. So, sun's gone to this, so it made it a little bit easier to scoop out. There we go. There's one. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. And it probably helps if you're at home to have a have a like a second spoon to help scoop out that peanut butter, especially if it's yes. not pre-melted by the sun. Uh, that way you're not sitting there waiting for that peanut butter to plop out. There you go. And more is always better, of course. So we are done with that. I believe push-ups are next. And we got this time we had three tea, three spoonfuls of that peanut butter in so we're going to do three sets of ten on the push-ups here justin's going to get a little bit of a chest workout in yep i'm going to this one put these off to the side for those of you that have your blender with caps on it like ours has you can go ahead and put it on here secure it tightly we'll be blending in the next step after these push-ups are done and then at the final final touch will be chocolate chips all right, let's get these push-ups going. All right, so we're doing three sets of 10 push-ups again. Remember, if you can't, you know, 10 is not a hard and fast rule. You know, if you're doing three sets of five, we want to make sure we're doing, keeping the sets the same, yep. but just do what, do what you can. Still challenge yourself, but you don't have to go overboard. So we're going to start. Justin's going to go ahead and hop down. We're going to keep his hands good, right about shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider if you want, but we don't want him to go too wide. He's gonna keep his chest nice and tall, just like we're holding that plank, and then he's just gonna drop his upper body down. Boom, one, good, two. So he's working out your chest, working out your arms, working out your shoulders. <clears throat> A little bit of abs in here also. Good job, Justin. Look at that. This guy's a professional over here. Doing good, good. Take a little break if you have to. I know I'll need it. Yep, and take it. Take about 30, you know, 30 seconds. Take a minute. Uh, if you need a little bit longer, it's okay. If this is uh, one of your first times doing push-ups, and uh, for this second set, actually, I'll have Justin show a little modification you can do if it's a little bit, you know, if they're pretty tough. We still want you to be able to get done, get those push-ups knocked out. We don't want to make it to where you're going to hurt yourself. So, when Justin's ready and sets up for his next set, for those of you. And not the knees. If you need, yep, we're just going to drop his knees down. So before he was doing them on his toes, yep. this time drop the knees down. Everything else is about the same. And then he's just going to again lower his body down. Just makes it a little bit easier for you. you want to make sure we're still getting them done good. Good job, Justin. And remember, you still got one more set to go. Good. Sweet. Taking one more break. Cool. Need some water. Yep. It is a little warm out here. Yeah, especially if you're doing this outside. It's still cold. Want to make sure you're uh, make sure you're staying hydrated while you're working out. If you're doing it inside and you're getting hot and sweaty, also you still want to make sure you're hydrating. Also, uh, water is always a good choice. You can't go wrong. All right. Last ten. Last 10. What do we got? Oh, uh, your choice. Cool. All right. Let's uh, let's split them up. Let's do five of the first and five of the modified. All right. So I'll drop back down for my next five, as I did before, with my toes touching, not my knees. And I'll get up and do the last five. Hands apart. Stable. Good. So this is a great option, too, if you start on a set like this and say you get halfway through or get through four or get through five or six and it feels really challenging and you don't feel like you're going to get those last few reps in that way you can always finish out the set by dropping the knees down and making sure you still get 10 in good and he's knocked out three sets of 10 on the push-ups the last thing uh, we don't have them out here right now because it is 90 plus degrees outside and they would have melted really fast, but we got the chocolate chips. So before we throw those into our smoothie, we'll go ahead and we're gonna be putting in what one, 
one little sprinkle of them, right? Yes, yeah, so you'll blend it um, to your satisfaction. It doesn't take very long. Go ahead and blend that carefully, and then when you're ready, just sprinkle a few chocolate chips on, and you're ready to serve. So we'll go ahead and knock out the exercise for those chocolate chips, and then we'll go ahead, we'll show you guys what the uh, the final product looks like. Cool. Enjoy the smoothie. Yeah, so yep, I'm excited for the chocolate chips. The last exercise we have uh, lunges. So we're going to do an alternating lunge. We're going to do just one set of eight. So it'll be end up being four on each leg. Justin's going to start out uh, facing me. Okay. And then he's just going to step one leg forward, drop that knee down, and then just go backwards to where he started. Now he's going to bring his other. So he stepped his right foot forward the first time. Now he's stepping that left foot forward. Now he's going back to the right foot. So we're alternating back and forth. Doesn't matter which foot you start with. Just make sure you're going back and forth. We're gonna do eight total. So you'll be doing four lunges on each leg. Good leg exercise here. He's making sure to keep his body up nice and tall while he's lunging. He's not hunching forward, rounding forward. Keeping those eyes up seeing what's in front of him. Good job. Should have one more on each side. I'm doing math poorly. <laughs> Could do more, right? I'll do one more set. Oh, he's going to challenge. So this one, you know, we, we chose eight, but Justin's going to challenge himself a little bit. He's going to do one more on each side. Uh, yeah. Another thing you guys can do for the lunges is if you want, you know, a little bit more challenge, you can grab something to hold on to. Grab a couple water jugs. If you got weights at home, pack a suitcase full. Put your cat over your shoulders. <laughs> add a little bit of weight to that lunge. Just get creative with it. You know, we we know you're all at home a lot of the time, and it's a little bit different right now. So just get creative. Have a little bit of fun with your workouts. Yep. Keep some more exciting. Yep. Cool. So all that's right. that's the workouts done. Uh, we're gonna pause right here, blend up the smoothie, and we'll be right back. Sweet. Thank you, Eric. And we're back. So Eric and I finished making this awesome peanut butter and chocolate smoothie. I struggled through the workouts, but you know, <laughs> Eric guided me through it. It was awesome, it's a good exercise. And for those of you that finished that at home, take a good taste of it. We sprinkled some chocolate chips on ours earlier. Um, I'm excited to try it. I have already tasted it beforehand, but I'm excited to try it again. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers. It's so good. Mm. That this peanut butter is, and chocolate chip. This is a great way, you know, one, not only does it taste good, but it's also, you know, something that's a little bit more nutritious than just buying like a, you know, ice cream from Dairy Queen or something. Gives you a good source of protein after your workout or before, you know, whenever you want to drink one, great in the morning or before bed. Uh, the oats help give you a little bit of uh, fiber just kind of fill the smoothie out a little bit and then it also gives you a little bit of some carbs and just to you know replenish some of your energy because we just burned off you know quite a bit going through that workout outside playing with your friends you know whatever uh, whatever the case may be and so we want to replenish that that way your body can recover and you can do it all over again tomorrow right so you know, just having something like this uh, and you know, feel free to play around with you know what you put in your smoothie. I mm -hmm. uh, wouldn't recommend putting a chocolate tomato smoothie together. Maybe Justin would like it. <laughs> I wouldn't. Never know. <laughs> I'd be on try it. And uh, you know, thanks for following along with us. If yep. you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to email us, reach out to us on Instagram, yep. or whatever at myathletebox or support at myathletebox.com. Uh, we'll be here to answer any questions, any comments. We'd love your feedback. Follow us, like us. We're all over social media. We've got new boxes coming out every month, sneak peeks, new recipes, um, home digital digital workouts by Mood Bros. So it's it's great. We've got a lot of stuff coming um, every month. So appreciate all your support and have a great rest of your summer. Have fun, guys. <laughs>